Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's look at the, the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see on Friday, or basically the last two, three days, on the Wednesday, we basically rallied. On the, on the Tuesday, we basically found resistance here at the 40 exponential moving average at 124 and then broke down towards the 150. And yet again on Friday, and usually for Fridays, they basically rallied up towards the 40 exponential moving average. We are trading just above the top of the middle of the bullish band. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still in negative territory and is above the signal line uh, and is basically approaching, approaching uh, the positive uh, or bullish territory and will most likely do so if this continues in the next two or three trading days. So the RSI is um, a little bit bullish and the CCI is flat and the stochastic is, has crossed the signal line indicating bullish momentum. So we have found a major resistance up here at the 100 moving average. So from where we are at this current stage and up towards the 100 moving average, that's an increase of 5.45%. So we could see this if this continues to rally, we could increase 4.45% uh, before finding major resistance. We have the 50 moving average above and we haven't tested the 50 moving average uh, basically all the way here in the end of February where we basically had this major breakdown. So just keep that in mind. The last time we tested the 50 moving average, which is right here, we actually broke down nearly all the way down towards the 200 moving average, a fall of give or take 24%. So it's going to be interesting to see what basically happens when we get close to the 50 moving average. Break above that, that could be a sign that we are about to break out of this sideways movement that we have been in. We basically broke down and then we have been just been trading sideways. So at this current stage, we are above the basically middle of the bullish band and we could see this rally towards the top of the bullish band at 129 before finding major resistance. If we break down from here, then the 150 has offered a little bit of support, but all the way down here at 111, at the 200 moving average, that should be where this finds major support. As you can see, we got fairly close to it a few, basically a month ago, and then we rallied. So let's look at DVI. So as you can see, on Friday, we rallied roughly 1%, and it looks like basically the 20 exponential and this uh, lower trend line here are basically holding. So getting close to that, basically, you can see that it is rallying. But we are really, uh, the Bollinger Band is getting really close. There is not that the same momentum in this uh, ETF as there has been. And it looks like from these charts that it is basically leveling off here. But we actually need to break below the 20 and the 40 and the 50 before this basically goes significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is in bullish territory underneath the signal line and the RSI is flat and the CCI is fairly bullish and the stochastic has turned around here and is heading back into bullish territory. So we will most likely find resistance up here at 118 just above here a break above that well then we could head back towards the top of this channel which should be around 125 that's a give or take 6.6 percent to the upside well break below these moving averages we have not seen a break towards the 50 moving average all the way back to basically the beginning of february so that could happen but uh, we are still at the bottom of the range and I do favor the upside at this current stage. So VTI. So same here in the VTI. We are, if you look at the bullish band, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. So um, it kind of a waiting game whether or not we are going towards the upside at 100 and, uh, 220 or towards the downside towards the middle of the bullish band at the 212. So this is favoring the upside at this current stage. We did have this fall uh, of give or take 2% and then found support at the 20 exponential and now it looks like we are heading back towards uh, the previous highs we're on the edge of being overbought uh, other technical indicators macd is in the bullish territory 
and it's bouncing off the signal line that is a very bullish indicator and we have the CCI above 100 that is bullish and also the stochastic is crossing the signal line which is also bullish so this has had a pullback towards the 50 here in basically beginning of February we also had a pullback towards the 100 moving average and um, that was basically in the beginning of March which is historically uh, together with uh, September a bad month for stocks so so uh, at this current stage we probably won't see this major pullback until probably in September if uh, historical patterns are uh, to be seen you can see what basically happened here in the beginning of September we fell towards 100 moving average and uh, a drop of 8.6 percent and also here in October we fell again towards the 100 moving average basically on aftershock of this basically major pullback so until until um, September we probably will see this rally we can see that we were here and we are basically from from April last year all the way towards September this was a fairly um, bullish market to the upside it increased by 22 to 23 percent so if that holds we could see this increase roughly in the same ma manner if uh, but but uh, pullbacks at this current stage towards the 50 40 and the 20 are kind of where people come back in and buy the studio upside so let's look at uh, mchi so this really took off on um, on basically on wednesday started on wednesday continue on uh, on thursday and on friday we broke above the 40 exponential we haven't broken above the 40 exponential all the way back here in the beginning of march so if we manage to break above the 150 moving average then we could really see this go back towards the previous high so that is an increase of roughly 17 or 16 percent to the upside and that is a major move to the upside however we are getting fairly overstretched here so we are significant we are outside of the bullish band and we could expect this to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band and that's a drop of 1.87 percent before this increase is higher other technical indicators they are looking much more bullish than they have in the past you can see the macd is still in the negative territory but above the signal line and is heading towards a bullish territory the rsi is bullish the cci is bullish and the stochastic is bullish at this point but due to the fact that we are outside of bullish band here we could see a minor pullback before uh, going higher so let's look at ibv so ibv increased uh, 1.05 percent on friday uh, we can increase this channel we are right underneath this channel uh, which we have basically which has been significant resistant uh, for a really really long time we have to go all the way back towards november last year to um, to see that when we get close to this channel we basically break down and we usually break down towards the 20 the 40 so the 20 is at uh, 410 the 20 and the 40 is at 200 403 and the 50 is at the 398 so we are getting fairly overstretched we are getting also close to the top of the bullish band we're basically uh, getting top of the bullish band we are on the edge of being over so overbought and uh, yes we can see that the macd is crossing the signal line and the cci is underneath 100 so there are kind of signs that this could pull back in the next few days or probably the next week or so yes just keep that in mind but the pullbacks have basically been major buying opportunities it's where people come back in at around the 50 moving average you can see right here this was of course a major fall in the beginning of, uh, of march but we didn't even get close to the 100 moving average but here as well towards the 50 moving average it rallies up towards the very highs 8.3 percent and then it breaks down yet again so at this current stage we are in the up part of this range and uh, pullback should be expected in the next uh, few trading days so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much